Good morning, folks. The sun has been pretty quiet, but showing signs of increased activity the last day. We've got top science news from the Earth out into deep space, and we begin with our star here watching a relatively benign 24 hours. A small surge and pop just south of the equator, facing Earth, was a filament that released but only up into the corona. We've got no significant flares or CMEs. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. We're watching new sunspots and those filaments which still pepper the disk for eruptive activity. Heading to the science news, we have the next JPSS ready to launch in November. This is important because of the dozens of satellites that look back at Earth. The first JPSS is the only one giving us polar shots. We only get them once an hour and so it will be fantastic to get a higher cadence with the second satellite. This is its look down on the North Pole, by the way, and let's contrast the higher daylight fraction of the North with the growing dark of the southern winter. That bright arc you see is actually auroral, solar wind coupling and atmospheric excitement from charged particle precipitation. Speaking of looking at the weather and climate, they need to repeat this study.